Good morning. This is a uh, having come to Thailand since 1986, so it's going on nearly 40 years. I've had relationships with many hundreds of girls, probably about four or five long-term ones, and I can tell you that do not trust them. There's a small minority you can trust, but they're all after money. Be sure of that. Now, the only way to play it is don't go for an older woman. There's a number of reasons why. They start to get very argumentative after the age of about 30. Um, then they think they know it all. They want to take control because it's the way they deal with their Thai men. Although, and that's why a lot of the Thai men kick them away. You'll see there's so many Thai women living by themselves because the Thai men just get rid of them because they're a pain in the ass. So what it is, you come to Thailand, you take control. You live the life you want. Don't go and live where she wants. You live where you want. And if she can't follow you, well, don't. Don't take any other woman with you. Find the woman in the location that you like to live. Don't try and find one up country, then drag her to wherever you want to live because... It may or may not work, I don't know. It just seems like too much trouble. And um, I'll tell you what I'm looking for. I was looking for an older woman. I'm going to look for someone between the age of 20 and 25. There's a number of reasons, not because of their age. Number one, no children. Uh, the younger they are, they listen to you more. It's my experience. They haven't really formed their own ideas yet. And because what it is, they all learn from one another. And if you, if you go onto the singles website, they're all learning how to con foreigners. I get so many that try it on me. And I just, I just rip into them, you know. So, um, so yeah. You decide everything. It's your money. If she's a money earner, then she has equal rights. If she's not a money earner, then she doesn't get to, she can contribute to your ideas and say, this is what I think. But at the end of the day, the man must make the ultimate decision on things, unless he's an alcoholic dipshit or something like that. We've got to get back to the way things used to be in the 50s and 60s. The man is the boss. Sorry, girls. So, that's, I'm just not worrying. I've had, every day I've had two to three Thai women coming onto my line on my messenger, chatting with me. I just get bored with them, especially the older ones. They're all after just a cosy life. Now, if they stay with the Thai man, the Thai man's not going to give them money. They have this expectation, because you're a foreigner, that you'll be giving them a monthly income and they can sit on their asses and do nothing. Put them to work. I've got a business and I can get them working there. I'll give them a small retainer to look after their family. But after that, they're going to work and they'll get a... Uh, commission, I guess, uh, you could call it, or reward on how well they perform. And that, and do not, never put up with a woman saying, no, thank you, at night time. Out the door, if you don't do as papa. That's why a younger girl might work out better. The older they are, they get very argumentative. Well, they don't have much of a choice. Out the door.